Hi, my name is Bridget Young and this is my submission for the Finch Challenge um, recorded on the 16th of the 10th, 2021. Um, yeah, okay. Hi Mark, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, nice to meet you. My name is Bridget. Thank, Thank you for you. coming in. Um, so we got through your email about your son, Michael, who yes. um, is looking at starting to do some extra um, fitness in the gym and things like that. I understand he plays football. Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah. that's very exciting. Um, so what we have to do before we can start anything like that is go through um, what we have called the exercise readiness questionnaire for children and adolescents. All right, so the purpose of that obviously is because for young kids they've still got growing bones and things like that. We just want to make sure that um, we're not doing it going into anything too soon for them. We want to make sure that we uh, apply the right um, exercises and things like that. Okay, so there is a little bit of um, important information for parents slash guardians. I'm just going to read that out to yep. you now. The purpose of this form is to ensure we provide every child and adolescent with the highest level of care. In most cases, physical activity offers an opportunity for children and adolescents to have fun and promotes the basis for good health and enhanced quality for life for the future. However, there are a small number of children and adolescents who may be at risk when participating in an exercise program. We ask therefore that you read and complete the questionnaire carefully and return it to the trainer. The information contained in this form is confidential and unsubject to laws and regulations contained in the privacy laws enacted in December 2001. Okay, so um, yep. as I said before, we read out the um, information. It's just to protect the, the young kids and everything like that. Make sure we don't do anything to hurt them. Okay? Yep. All right, so we'll start going through the form. Um, when you're ready. Yep. All right, so we'll just get first name of the child. Uh, Michael. All right, surname. Markham. All right, so, and if I can get his age as of the 1st of January this year. Um, so he's 10 so now. Is this 10? No, so 9? Yep. So 9. In yep. uh, his date of birth. Uh, the 9th of the 8th, 2011. Alright, male, female. Uh, male. Yep, and your name? Uh, Mark Markham. Alright, and your address, please? Um, 27 Blue Street, Berwick. 27. Yep. Yep. Postcode if I can. Uh, 3987. Yep. Alright, and a mobile number for yourself. Uh, 0476 339 Home phone number? Um, uh, 5987-2245. And a work phone number, please. Um, it's the same as the home phone. Okay, yep. Yeah, so, 59872245. Yep. Where do you work? What do you do for work? Oh, I'm just a diesel mechanic. Diesel mechanic, yeah? Yeah. How long have you been doing that for? Oh, about six years now. Must like it if you've been doing it for that long. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Has a... General practitioner or allied health professional referred your child? No. No? Okay. Uh, if yes, we put the contact name, but name and details there, but yep. they haven't, so we're just going to go on to the next section. Um, if there is an emergency, specify the person who should be contacted and their emergency contact details. So would you like me to list yourself as yeah, the emergency that'd be all, contact that'd be great. person? And I'll just grab your mobile number from the um, top section. Yep. So it was yeah. 0476 339 yep. 138. Yep, that's it. Yeah. And the home and work phone, you just want the same as mentioned above yes. as well. Yes, All right. So 03 yep. Okay. 
Do any of the following medical or physical conditions apply to your child or ad adolescent? So I'm just going to go through those with yep. you. Heart condition. No. Type 1 diabetes. No. Epilepsy. No. Breathing problems. No. Cystic fibrosis. Uh, no. Type 2 diabetes. No. Seizure or convulsion. No. Asthma. No. High blood pressure. No. High cholesterol. No. Eating disorder. No. Unexplained coughing after exercise. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Now let's see. Is your child currently taking any medications? No, not at the moment. Okay, all right. And in the last six months, has your child had um, any of the three? So joint or bone pain, injured or broken bones, muscular pain while exercising? Um, he has had um, joint and bone pain. Mm -hmm. um, six months ago, he was um, experienced uh, disease in the base of his knee. Oh yes, I did see that in your email with the Osgood Schlatter disease. Yes, yeah. yeah, no, it did say in there that he'd seen a physio though yep. and that that went all well. Yeah, it's all good now. Yeah, he's feeling okay yeah. back at his sport. Yeah, good as new now. Oh, fantastic. That's good to hear. It's good to know though that we like have this on file just so that if he ever mentions anything like yes. that, that we know um, what it could potentially be. Yep. Okay. Does your child have any chronic disabilities or illnesses? No. Does your child have any difficulty or problems with vision? No. Hearing? No. Speech? No. Motor skills? No. Balance? No. Or any trouble sleeping? Uh, no, none of those. Yeah. Um, is your child allergic to any food, medication or has any allergens? No, he's not allergic to anything, oh, I don't believe. Yeah, sometimes it's a case of just, <laughs> I suppose they get stung by a bee and then you're like, oh, they're yeah. allergic to a bee. <laughs> um, does your child follow a special diet at all? Um, so vegetarian or follow any religions? Or no, anything? no, nothing at all. Okay. Has your child had surgery in the past 12 months? Uh, no, he has not had any surgery. That's good. All right, is there any other reason why your child should not participate in exercise? Nope. Okay. So what would you say your child's favorite hobbies and activities are? Uh, football, he definitely loves football and loves playing football. with all of his friends. Loves his football, yeah. Yeah. He'd be struggling through the COVID at the moment. Oh, definitely. It makes it very hard for him to go see his friend yeah. and play sport and get active outside. Has he still been getting outside? Do you, like, oh, a little bit, yeah. but not, not as, as much. much as he used to, obviously. So this will definitely help keep him up and uh, fit as he was. Yeah, I did see that he was um, training three times a week at the moment yeah. um, pre-COVID um, and he's... AFL team yep. um, and plays on the weekends so hopefully it won't be too long before he can get back to doing it. Yeah, that. hopefully it's soon. Alright, so um, we're just going down to the, the consent page. We've um, almost finished the bulk of it, the um, questionnaire now. Alright, yep. so the information provided above regarding my child's health is to the best of my knowledge correct. Yep. I will inform you immediately if there are any changes to the information provided above. I give permission for my child to commence your exercise program. Mm -hmm. All right, so what I'll get you to do, if you wouldn't mind, is just uh, do a little squiggle, just a digital signature there. Yep. Please mark. And just today's date. Yeah. And, and full oh. name underneath, please. Thank you. All right, and yep. I'll do mine. Thank you. All right. Yep. So now we just need to go through some of the performance measures, which is um, on 
Michael. So did you want to go grab him? Yeah, I'll go now? grab him from out of the back. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's super exciting. Um, just had a good chat with your dad about um, going through the questionnaire to make sure that you're fit and healthy and ready to um, start a program. It says that you had a little knee injury six months yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was a bit sad. Yeah. I wasn't able to get out and do what I enjoy. Yeah. Well, but it's all good now. So. Yes, oh, fantastic. Good to, good to know. All right, so um, I just need to take a few basic measurements yep. from you and things like that. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to put in today's date. It's the 16th of October, 2021. All right, so um, we're just going to quickly take your height. Yep, so you want me to come? Yeah, if you can just stand up and stand against the wall. Perfect. Thank you. Heels up all the way up against the wall. We normally have um, one of those cool things, I don't know if you've seen it, it's called that like comes down and oh, it's yeah. on top of your head. 145 centimetres, that's oh. perfect, I'll put that down. Alright, and we have a scale as well, so before you sit down, uh, yeah. Michael, if I could just get you to stand on the scales. Yep. Thank you. Um, and looking straight ahead. Perfect, thank you. Come down. Yeah. Lovely. All right. So, given that, let me just quickly put in your BMI. Stop laughing. Yep. All right. 16.2. All right. So, waist girth in centimetres. Is this measurement more than half of the child's height? So, that would be a no. Mm -hmm. All right. And the test that we're going to do um, and we'll do this once we finish this question once we leave we'll go do some of the aerobic and muscular endurance yep. testing okay so we're going to do what's called the queen's college step test have you heard of that one before have, have you done it at school or yeah I've done like it. That? yeah or maybe we might have done it at football. Yeah, yeah, yeah i've done it at football and at school okay and then we're going to do the sit-up test all right oh. I'm not so a big fan of sit up. No, yeah, well, it shouldn't take too long. All right, and then a quick flexibility test would go through the sit and reach, all right? Yes. All right, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. 